gentlemen, Rebel Fighting Championship bout number five. The next fight is in the lightweight division. Never let a moment pass you by. Chris Barris knows this better than anyone. An undefeated Muay Thai specialist, Barris has the opportunity to make a name for himself on one of the biggest stages in Asia. A dangerous striker in every sense of the word, Barris knows his fight against Yup Yong Hwang is the biggest of his life so far. By defeating the Korean powerhouse in impressive fashion, Barris's name will instantly become a breakout star within the Rebel FC arena. A technical wizard, Barris uses his incredible pace and ring control to determine how and where the fight goes, and most importantly, when it ends. Yup Young Hwang, a man of few words. Yup Young Hwang knows what it's like to be the bad guy. He knows what it's like to enter an arena full of fans cheering against you. And he knows what it's like to lead victorious. After defeating Siafik Samad with one of the most impressive knockouts in 2013, Yup Young Hwang is back in another attempt to climb even further up the lightweight ladder. And this time, there's no pressure. A power puncher with dynamite in each fist, Hwang has the ability to knock out anyone at the drop of a hat. However, can he contend with the speed and technique of Chris Barris? Singapore, get ready to find out in a lightweight throwdown. Chris Barris versus Yup Young Hwang. Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, from the United Kingdom, fighting out of Fightworks Academy, please welcome Chris Barris. Big boys here in this event. Absolutely, Chris Barris, let me tell you, his record in MMA is 5-1-1. One, and one. His last opponent was in 2012 with a ref stoppage. He has subs. Look out for his rear naked choke. He has TKO to his name. He's a beast of a striker. He has a Thai boxing record of 5-0 undefeated. Um, he's a purple belt under the Gracie Baja England under Rafael dos Santos and Darren Yeoman in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training out of Fightworks Academy in Torquay, England. He's Muay Thai. His allegiance is Sit Song Pinong Gym in Thailand, one of the most reputable gyms in the land. Going to be an interesting fight, Mike, as both want to keep it standing. I feel we'll be in for a treat tonight. It's going to be an all-out war. He respects Gyo Pyong's power, as we've seen it, knocking out Shafiq last year at Rebel 1. But, you know, he hasn't faced such a dangerous striker yet in Chris Barra. So, it's going to be an interesting fight. But for, for me, Chris Barra's... He's in great shape, he's determined, he's really keen to get back into the MMA scene and to really establish himself as a solid uh, contender at this weight. So, he's 5-1-1, one, and one. his game, his goal is to go 6-1, and one. so let's see what Chris has tonight. And in the red corner, from South Korea, fighting out of Korean top team, the apple, Hwang Hee Poo! Dangerous hands. And deadly, deadly knees. Not just knees, but flying knees. Absolutely. We saw him knock out Shafiq at Rebel 1 seven months ago, which gives him a two knockout big victories in a row. Looking to finish early. Wants to keep the fight standing, Mike. Doesn't like to be on his back and will look to stand and bang. He doesn't want to get on the canvas. He loves his right hand left hook combination and looks to knock out Chris. No doubt about it. He made that clear to me in the locker room. He wants a knockout, nothing less. He's had a healthy preparation. He's ready for a battle tonight. He has strong boxing and will look to impose his game plan tonight. Two big strikers in action on Rebel Fighting Championship 2. This will be a battle royal. Miguel Angel Torres taking on Takahiro Ashida. Will the Kill Chop and Mauricio Dos Santos Jr. And Yojiro Uchimura and Raiden Romero. Fighting for that huge purse, quarterfinals tonight. Yamada fighting out of the blue corner, standing at 1.8 meters tall and weighing at 70.8 kilograms. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are wearing a black, green, and white fight shorts with a professional MMA record of five wins and only one loss. From the United Kingdom, please welcome Chris Barras! Red corner, standing at 1.78 metres tall and weighing in at 70.8 kilograms with a professional MMA record of six wins for only three losses. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the yellow shorts with a black trim. This man is a striking and submission specialist and a PXC, Top FC and M1 veteran. Representing C 
South Korea. Please welcome the Apple Gokun It's Chris Barris in the white trunks with the black trim and in the sexy fluoro yellow tights, the Korean Hwang Gyo Pyong. I can see you in a pair of those, Frank. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Well, if the lights go out, baby, you won't miss me at all. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for Chris Barris. He's a finisher. He really is. Both big strikers. Expect some powerful action here as they feel each other out in the first seconds of round one. And I'm sure Barris has that flying knee in the back of his mind too. He would have heard about that in the few days leading up. Yeah, but Chris Barris is a different style of fighter than Shafiq. You know, he stands in the pocket a little bit more. That canvas is pretty slippery. Isn't it? Oh, he doesn't want to go and he's got... Oh, no, this is bad. This is early in the first round. This is very bad for Gyo Pyong. Chris yeah. is a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, Barris he's made the, the invitation and uh, oh, he just walked the Korean into accepted it. it. What an opportunity. Here he goes. He's bringing his legs up nice and high, trying to lock that right shoulder. When you see him bring their legs up like that, Mike, see how he's bringing his left leg up? He's trying to lock that right shoulder so he can't pull out. Then he's going to start to look to transition for the armbar. So Barris says, welcome to my world, Gyo Pyong. And Gyo Pyong trying to get some Here he goes. pounding Ooh, action in. He's going to try and pull out. He's got to be very careful because he's with a purple belt. He can get his arm broken here. Good striking, though, from the Korean. But again, Barris concentrating on that arm of Huang. Barris again is trying to control his posture. See how he's holding his head there, Mike? That's going to that's gonna minimize the amount of elevation that Gyo Pyong can have against Chris. And what that means is that if he can allow his head to come up, he can drop stronger strikes down on top of Chris. But if he holds his posture and controls him like he is, then he's only can, he can hit him with only like tip-tap style punches or rabbit style punches or ineffective style punches. Lightweight clash this. 70 kilos. Chris losing about... 12 kilos, 12.5 kilos in five days. So hopefully the energy levels are where they should be too. Not to mention the adrenaline dump as well. But, you know, these boys are pretty, pretty um, experienced guys. So they should be able to control that pretty well. It's very slippery out there, Mike. Really? Singapore, even with the air con, you get that humidity, a lot of sweat on the mat. And that was one thing they noted in Rebel 1 too, that it was a little slippery, this mat. Barris again is starting to lock the opposite shoulder now. So he's starting to bring the right leg on the shoulder. So now he's going for his left arm now, Mike. You see him controlling the posture, doing very well. The referee's having a good look. He wants it to keep moving. Barris having a spell in Thailand, as you say. Muay Thai gym there that he's associated with, but now, from Torquay. If, if, Chris can't, if Chris, Chris can't find a finish here, he's going to have to try and either stand up or sweep. And sweep means to reverse the position, at least get on top. Let's see what he does. It's normal to fail a few times from your back. No guard is 100%. You've got to keep throwing that up. You've got to keep persisting. You've got to be disciplined in your attacks. Don't let them pulling out or posturing up worry you. You have to just develop a thick skin when you're fighting off your back and just keep throwing those opportunities because the fighter on top is going to be getting tired as well, Mike. And he can slip up. He can make oh, an error. Nice shot there on the left with Juan. Here he goes. You can see he's trying to sweep him. Yeah. He starts, he's opening his guard. He's starting to reconsider, rethink it now. Try and maybe stand up again and start and reset. Certainly looks at home on the ground on his back though, Burris. But Huang with a couple of good shots there on top. He's actually trying to bail a little bit now, Mike. You yep. can see his legs are open. He's trying to look for maybe a push kick away and stand up. He's going to try and clear and stand. Yeah. Here he goes. See, he's trying to get some distance. Just looking at his show reel. He certainly, with his Muay Thai experience, got striking power as well, Burris. Fightworks gym and Torquays. And Gyo Pyong's going to throw that right hand, Mike. He's going <laughs> to throw that right hand. You watch. He's, He's going to throw his legs to the side and come over the top of the right hand. Winding up there big time. Didn't manage a clean punch on that occasion, though, as Barris gets an elbow in from below. We're down to one minute to go, Mike. We're just in the last minute of round one. It's noticeable the extra experience these guys are bringing to the ring. You know, for me, Chris has got to sweep. He's got to think about sweeping. He's got a w one minute to go. If he wants to win this round, he has to get back up on his feet and then be convincing. Or reverse the position and win the round. 
See that right leg of his? If he can feed that right leg on the inside of his thigh, he can flip him there over. Yeah, oh. He's going for it. Yeah. He's going to maybe try and insert it. He's got wrist control. He might be looking at throwing up a triangle, but wrist control is hard to maintain with the gloves on and the sweat and the slipperiness. Here he goes. He's looking for a... Starting to turn his shoulders and looking for an arm, looking for some way in for a triangle. Just seconds to go in round one. The Battle Royal with Rebel Fighting Championship. Barris versus Wang. It's got to give Gyo Pyong confidence in his guard, thinking, ah, oh, well, he couldn't even finish me in the first round in the first 10 seconds. You know, not that much sweat, not that much slipperiness. Couldn't do much. He's going to have to rethink it now. Chris, as we see the highlights of there again, the slipperiness of, uh, of the floor here on the hexagon. You can see here how he's trying to control the posture and look for the arm bar. You yeah. know what, if you cleared that neck, cleared that neck earlier, he may have had a shot at it, but you don't get a lot of chances against a, a seasoned professional that come out of the corner. Yes. Let's see. Especially from Barris here, we'll see what his philosophy is in round two against the Korean Huang. Chris's stand-up is impeccable. I mean, oh. just- You saw just, in a show reel there, just phenomenal, the hand speed. Yeah. So many TKOs. Nasty welt appearing on the temple there of Burris, on, high on his cheek from one of the rights from Huang in round one. Again, just checking his kicks. Yeah, Barris is just throwing single shots right, Mike. Single shots. See how he's just doing single shots? Yeah. One kick, one punch. You know, you have to, you have to set him up. You've got to go in there and, and you've got to just force it. You've got to throw some combinations. Do you think it's because he slipped in the first round, I think Frank? He's so, just keeping so. a little bit You know, that's a good more point. Suspect. That's a very good point, Mike. That's a very good point. Could be. Could be that. Has to, re has to adjust his whole fighting strategy. A little bit of showbiz there from Barras. Nice spinning back kick. Yeah, they're both having a nice chuckle over that one. <laughs> well, Huang's got some tricks up his sleeve too. Oh, he sure has. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, spinning John Jones. Oh, nice right hand. Gil pyong has got some power, hasn't he? He's very explosive. Brings an airy smile to Barris's face. <laughs> that was good. They're enjoying themselves out there. Good to see. Respect from both fighters. You can see a different level here of performance from the undercard. Oh, a nice shot from Huang, though. Barris has got to move his head, Mike. Yep. He went straight in, and then Gil Pyong just Flush. put a right hand on him. Flush. He literally ran into his right hand. Yep. It's got, see how he's moving that head a little bit more now? Oh, jeez, they're starting to meet in the middle now, Mike. Yeah, well, they don't call him the bomb for nothing. Oh, Huang boy. Pyong. He's almost smiling. He loves this. They breed him tough up in Korea, that's for sure. Oh, body kick. Proud nation as far as MMA <laughs> and contact sport goes. Gyo Pyong just shakes his head and goes, nah, I took that right on the ribs and it was nothing. <laughs> You never know, you know, Chris might go back to it again and hit him really hard next time, see yep. what happens. Yep. You know how I said earlier about that fighters, you know, they're really good at finding what works and just going back to it. Just keep going back, keep going back. Try and find a chink in the armor, try and wear them down, break them down slowly, get in their head mentally. Real calmness there from Huang as Burris took the kick, a nice knee to the ribs there. He's just waiting for Chris to commit and then he throws that overhand yeah. right. See if he does it again. Nice Remember counter. what I said? Nice Remember? counter. Yeah, he'll probably go back to it again. Chris has got to think this through. Nice body kick again, Chris. And those wear away after time, don't they? Oh. Those kicks to the ribs. The first one, he might be grinning, but you can see the big welt appearing there on the left side of his body, of his torso. They're slowing down a little bit now, Mike. Nice left hook. Jeez. Barris has got to start moving his head. He's going to get caught going backwards, Mike. That left hook looked menacing. Remember, Gyo Pyong has that right hand left hook combination down. Watch him throw it over and over. He sets it up with a jab, then he follows it up with the right hand and left hook combination. So good at that. Barras, the IFC British champion at Muay Thai. And he's showing some nice kicking action, some nice striking action, but again, it's just Huang is, seems to be reading some of his attacks. Huang's just picking him off. Yeah. You wait, he'll just wait for him to commit, and then he'll go over the top.
And if I was Chris Barris, I'd be throwing more feints, you know, like, sh like faking yep. some shoulder movement just to get him the move to and commit. then open it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One minute left yeah. in the second round. Lightweight nice clash. Jab. Huang from oh, Korea. Oh, nice right hand. See that right hand combination? Right hand, left hook. There it is oh, again. There brutal. it is again. Brutal. There it is again. There it is again. <laughs> He's stealing this round, Mike. It's going to leave a lot for Burris to do in round three if he doesn't get back in the last seconds of round two here. See how he's throwing a single shot still, Mike? It's yep. Huang just showing his power there with a barrage of punches. Majestic stuff from the Korean. Oh, he's running to his right hand. He's only got 30 seconds to go. Oh, he's in a triangle. See if he can finish it. Oh, oh, he slipped straight out. They are sweaty, aren't they? You they can are. see on the floor and on their bodies. Hard to grip as Burris regains his a composure. Bit. His left, his left eye's closing, Mike. Yeah. His left eye's closing, Mike. Looking at the clock seconds. now, Burris. He wants to hold on this last. What's that combination? Seconds. Here it comes. Here it comes. I think Huang's going to be patient here. He's enjoying himself. You know, he might go to the body. You never know. He might. Ooh. Yeah. Well, Chris is down two rounds to none. He has to come out. He has to come out with elbows. He's got to come out with some some wrestling. The Korean seems to be reading reading him so effectively. He just kept landing that right hand left hook over and over. There it is again. That's there it is again. There it is again. There it is again. It works. When people are standing, when a fighter's standing with a head up in the air, that left hook is all is there all day for the taking. So round three, we make it Huang two rounds ahead. So Burris with loads of work to do as they nod to each other, doff their caps in praise for the performance so far. But I think Burris will want to push here. There he goes again. <laughs> Such a good counter fighter. Look how measured he's so relaxed, Mike. A lot of young fighters can learn a lot from Kyo Pyung. Burris maybe wants to work those ribs again of Huang as well. Mm. Get his guard down. But so slippery on this floor. I think he's a, a little concerned about the footing. Suman Mokhtarian. Pushing a commentary to Burris as well. Pushing him on. Winning his fight earlier tonight against the local fighter Ashraf bin Shafi. Four minutes left. I think when we see the fight go down to about two and a half minutes to go, yeah. we've got to see Chris uh, Barras coming out and Alarm trying bells. to win. Yeah. Trying to win. I think he's trying to conserve some energy now early in this last round, yeah. and then he's going to start coming in. That's good leg kicks too. See the... Huang just so strong and steady. Barris, as we mentioned, losing over 12 kilos in five days for this clash. And if he's lost a little bit of zip there. Huang looking down the barrel at 2 and 0 here at Rebel. His record reading 4 and 3 so far in the career. Took a couple of years off doing his reservist training, as you do in Korea, in the army, and that'll harden you up as well. Again in the ribs. Man, has he got steel ribs in there or what? <laughs> well, they breed him tough in Korea, that's for sure. Real warrior culture up there. See, what starts to happen when you get lit up a few times, you get punched in the face a few times, you get marked up a few times, you get dropped a few times, you spend a lot of time on your back, you're in the third round, you're very apprehensive. If you were apprehensive in the first couple of minutes of the, first, of the fight, yep. in, the last, in the last round, you know, you just... You want to try some, you, you saw him kind of mimic like he wanted to throw an uppercut, but he's just a little bit tentative, you know, you know, yeah. he's afraid of getting lit up again. So this is a, it's a dangerous time for Chris, you know, he could be setting himself up to be knocked out. Well, here. he's only got half a round to here turn this fight around. All right, let's see what happens. It's yep. 2.30 left on the clock. Let's see what he does, okay? He's got to move in here, Barras. But again, Huang proving how strong he is. He's just picking him off, Mike. Yeah. Not too much movement from Huang on his feet, but... He doesn't need to. Chris no. is standing in front of him, Mike. <laughs> Why would he need to move? But he's taking those shots on the ribs and the leg. Just smiling, happy. Doesn't bother him. He should have been doing this from round one, going to the legs there, Burris. He spent a lot of time on his back in that first round, mm. Mike. It's hard to throw leg kicks when you're on your back, you know? <laughs> so going southpaw here, Barris. Watch that right hand. He better be careful. He better stay on the outside of his front foot if he wants to go southpaw. Yeah. 
Just staring down the barrel of a right hand if he's not careful. Nice, another body kick. Well, Huang loves his action movies and films. And probably has the potential to star him on the, the toughness he's showing here. Chuck Norris move on over. Rebel unearthing some talent from up in Korea. Nice jab by Barrows. All right, that's better. That's much better. Well, he's only got a minute 18 to well, turn this around, though, Frank. It's all uh, very well having a great exhibition, but he wants to win this fight. Well, I would have thought he would have started moving a little faster, a little harder earlier in this last round. But, oh, hey, it's, it's better than better than not moving fast and not being uh, I can't aggressive. believe how, how Huang reads that. That straight kick from Barris. He just stands there and watches it millimetres away from his nose. He's how tough is Huang. Here he goes for the take. Oh, he's got him down. Oh, here he goes. He's got 45, 45 seconds. seconds. Last stanza of this fight. It's been a beauty. Chris Barris travelling all the way from the UK to take on the Korean Huang Gyo Pyong. It's been an incredible performance by Huang Gyo Pyong. Right, really underlying his credentials. And uh, when they start handing out the lightweight belt, here at Rebel, he'll be in the forefront of Chad Sanderson's mind as he matches the fights for title bouts. Just 10 seconds left and Barris, well, he's not going to win from there. The Korean wrapping him up in all sorts of trouble. Huang Daipol Gui Pyong. And that's the end of the clash. 15 minutes of great action. Barris dragged to his feet by the Korean. But this will go to the judges' cards. Uh, the judges tonight are Morgan Perkins, Brett Leming, and Roger Chan. And let's see what they've got on their cards. Flurries of punches in round two. And just doing what he had to in round three, really. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge number one had a 29-28. Judge number two had a 30-27, and judge number three had a 30-27 for your winner, Brett.